The title character in this movie is Lucy. Her friend is a thief and a drug dealer. He keeps acting improperly. Take this back. He orders Lucy while carrying a briefcase. Give this briefcase to someone going into that hotel. He says, indicating a nearby hotel. After only doing this work, we will receive $1,000. $1,000 for this little work, says Lucy. She objected to doing it. Her friend then fastens a handcuff around his wrist and secures the other end with a bag that cannot be opened. You'll have to go inside, he says. She enters and tells the front desk employee who she is here to meet. They then step outside. When he is looking at her from outside, her friend is shot. And now he's gone. They seize Lucy and bring her inside. They bring Lucy into the room and force her to sit in the chair. She is prompted to take this briefcase open. Speaking it, they don't make any clear statements. Lucy inquires, is there anything harmful in it? Why are they all hiding? They respond, this briefcase was given to you by an unreliable source. Then they give him the lock's code, which he must know in order to unlock the briefcase. She sets the briefcase's code and opens it. The CPH4 medications come in four packets. What is inside it? They inquire. Lucy answers. There are four blue packets, each containing some sort of powder. As they approach Lucy, they ask, Will you serve us? Though Lucy disagrees, she receives a punch to the face as a result. Losing consciousness. When she wakes up, she finds herself being operated on. On her stomach, she discovered stitches. She imagines that someone has removed a body part, possibly her kidney. Then a man informs him that no body parts are being removed. Your abdomen has been sewn with one of the four packets. You must travel to the location to which we direct you. You will be released after this packet is taken out of your abdomen. Lucy currently has no choice but to work for them. Because they are drug traffickers and don't hesitate to take anyone's life. The remaining drug packets are sewn into the stomachs of three additional men after they are brought in. You will all need to take these drug packets to a specific location. Where they will remove the packet from you, they tell them. Then you are liberated. We have the addresses of your family in case anyone try to deceive us. We'll put an end to them all. After draping their faces in cloth, they are taken apart. Two men are standing in front of Lucy when she removes a cloth from her mouth. While one of them tries to humiliate Lucy. They possess her locked away. That person punches Lucy in the stomach when she tries to run away. It served as the location of the drug storage. So that the packet can be opened inside of her belly. This drug is way too risky. On the opposite side, a scientist giving a speech about the brain is visible. He claims that man has only used 10% of his brain as of yet. He used this 10% to change the world. He created the aeroplane, the mobile, and the moonwalk. Then he continues, there is an animal that uses 20% of its brain. And that animal is a dolphin. They have intelligence and communicate with one another by using 20% of their brains. He explains in a later statement that if people only use 20% of their brains, they will be able to understand their entire body. Lucy on the other hand, is more mentally active as a result of blowing up the drug packet she was taking. Her brain is now operating at 20% capacity. The person who kicked her in the abdomen appears as soon as she sits down on the chair. Lucy's overactive mind makes her comfortable. She doesn't want to cause herself any more harm by acting foolishly. When that man approaches her, she strikes him. She kills him with the gun that was on the table before leaving the scene. She then goes to the medical center. Because a drug packet she was taking exploded in her stomach, she had to come here. She still hasn't fully blown up the packet inside her. The packet still contains something. A patient is being operated on by doctors. She pulls out her gun and kills that man while watching everything on the screen. Doctor says to calm down. I get things going. She divulges a lot to her mother over the phone while the procedure is going on. How can you remember such things? Her mother exclaims, being surprised. Because she is recounting events from her early years, when she was under a year old. 
All memories are brought to mind as Lucy's mind becomes more active. As soon as Lucy hangs up the phone, medical professionals remove the packet from her stomach. How much medication is still contained in this packet? She queries the doctor. Half packet, the doctor responds. Then she queries. How long will the residual drug have an impact on my body? I should be aware of it at first, the doctor claims. She answers, CPH4 drug. Hearing it astounded the doctor. A doctor says it is comparable to an atomic bomb, and I've also heard that its synthetic substance is going to be produced. But the way it has been made is incredible to me. If CPH4 has blown up inside of you, I find it hard to believe you are still alive. Lucy now approaches the person who sewed the drug into her abdomen. Where have you sent the other three packets? She queries. Tell me, please. He stays silent though, she said. She gets awareness about the location where the packets have been sent. After placing her hand on his brain side. Rome, Paris and America are the names of the nation. Lucy then departs for her home. She has a friend. Do you mind if I use your computer? She asks her friend. She looks up the scientist who has been studying the brain on the internet. I want to talk to you. She calls the professor and says. I've read your research's content. The professor chuckles and exclaims, whole research. You are aware of how many pages I have written. 6734 pages, she claims. My stomach is full of drugs, which has increased my mental activity. The professor is taken aback. She estimates that I am only using 28% of my body's brain. I have no more than 24 hours to live. After that, I'm going to pass away. And I'll be able to use my entire brain. I can now control my body using different phones, mobile devices and other people. I don't feel pain, says Lucy. I'm not motivated, she claims. Knowledge of physics, mathematics and science is permeating me. What ought I to do? Professor, pass on this information to the next generation. After that, Lucy tells the professor. I'll be there for you in a day or two. Lucy now gets up to grab the remaining three packets. Meanwhile, Lucy's brain superpower is also demonstrated as she causes the others to fly through the air. Here, she is assisted by a police officer. She is getting ready to see the professor after taking the drug packets from them. There, the professor and his friends are waiting for her. They are shocked when Lucy reveals the information regarding mathematics and science. I'm not in pain, Lucy claims. I lack motivation. Knowledge of physics, mathematics, and science is permeating me, the speaker asserts. What should I do, professor? Share this knowledge with the following generation. The professor is then informed by Lucy that she will be available in a day or two. Now Lucy stands up to take the final three packets. While this is happening, Lucy uses her mental superpower to make the others fly through the air. A police officer is assisting her in this situation. She has taken the drug packets from them and is getting ready to see the professor. She will find the professor and his pals there. When Lucy reveals the information regarding math and science, they are astounded, in order for users to use it. She then takes in the contents of all three packets. Her brain then starts to function quickly. And she builds a supercomputer out of all the electronic devices already there. Lucy is currently using 99% of her brain. She begins her interstellar journey. And she has control over time. She goes back in time. She first comes across the prehistoric inhabitants of the planet, followed by dinosaurs and the first man. She then witnesses the world's creation. Lucy returns. A hooligan who had sewed a drug into her abdomen then approaches from behind and shoots her. As he shoots Lucy, she vanishes. As he arrives, a police officer kills the wanderer. Following that, the professor is introduced by Lucy's homebrew supercomputer holding a black flash drive. The entirety of Lucy's knowledge on this journey had been saved. The police officer asks, where are you? He unexpectedly gets a voicemail saying, I am everywhere and...